Oh man, what a sight. Reading the day old newspaper, Caleb? Really? Oh, what a sad, I mean, that's just so sad. He's sitting there reading about day old games to raise his fun. You could go get the new newspaper. The girl just came and dropped off. You could go get that. This poor guy. Oh, it's been another whole day here in Desia, and he still doesn't even have a single friend. It's been pretty rough. He had the welcome wagon come, and he had that guy that he kind of had some bolts with swing by, but he hasn't really clicked with anybody. Nobody on the list. He really, honestly, like, the closest he is to making friends with anybody is the sheriff, Sheriff Anita, and the atrociously evil witch Anya. Anya Pleasant. That's interesting. Okay. She's probably related to the Pleasant family from one of the original sub neighborhoods. But it's just so sad. I just, I can't let him keep going on like this. He wants to make toaster pastries. He wants to make some pancakes. The poor man, he just wants a friend and nobody thus far will be his friend. What's wrong, Caleb? I mean, I love him. I think he's adorable. Nobody's even walking by. All right, dude, we're gonna get your life together. We're gonna pull you up out of this sad little slump and we're gonna send Caleb to the community lots because I think I finally have things working, I hope. All right, and you want to make you want to make some pancakes? You, sir, go flip some pancakes in those adorable little PJs of yours. So poor Caleb. Yeah, and I don't have uh, the astrology career put in just yet. Astronomy, excuse me. So he's not going to have any luck when it comes to actually going to work right now. But I'm going to say that's okay. He's got a few days to kind of adjust to being here in Ladesia. Now what do you want to do? Oh, nope, I'm not going to let you stay home. I'm not going to let you stay home and, and just be like a hermit. But you know what? If he wants to study all these things, anger management, fire prevention, physiology, then I guess we'll send him to the library. That would be a very good place, huh? Maybe you can make a friend there, Caleb. A fellow bookworm. You aren't even a bookworm. You're charismatic, flirty, shy too, but hmm, maybe we'll send him to the park. He would probably like to just stand there. I know. We'll stick him there with a fishing pole, and surely somebody will come along and start fishing and, and be his friend. I hope. Maybe. Poor guy. But yeah, this this just can't go on. Normally I'll rotate among a lot of the sims here in Ladesia between episodes, but Caleb's story was just so sad. New to town, no friends, falling in with the wrong crowd. I mean, if he keeps hanging out with that witch, he's going to get a reputation. And it's not going to be a good one. Alright, Caleb. Time to change into your day clothes. Still nobody. I'm keeping my eye out. Oh, oh, there's somebody. Morty Price. Why, well, hello, Morty. Do you want to say hi to your mail person? We might as well. Which mailbox? I, I always forget which mailbox is the real mailbox since I have some fake ones in here. Oh, hey, there's another person. Pip Turner. Hmm. Why don't you come and, and greet, greet these two? Great Morty, great Pip. Hopefully we can manage that. Because you never know who you might become friends with. Pip, are you a teen or are you an adult? I'm pretty sure that's an adult. It's hard to tell in this town. Jeez, that could get somebody in trouble. Alright. Great Pip Turner. Do you like either of them? Oh, I hear somebody else. Song! Oh, oh, we've got bolts. Be brave, sir. Just walk right up to her and flirt with her, because he is flirty. Hey, hey, oh man. So apparently everybody, everybody likes Song. Look at this. Well, this suddenly got quite a bit more interesting. Come on, Miss Song. Can we flirt with you? Oh, Caleb. Caleb, are you being cute? Ah, what am I stuck in? I'm stuck in a tree. Let me out. None of that nonsense tree. Oh, look at him be so cute. Oh dear, that's a little forward for her though. Shot down. <gasps> Double bolts! With Kalea Alakim, who is married. And Song. So let's see. 
That might actually that might actually play out. So let's see. Let's have him greet her. Maybe we should have said hello first. Perhaps that was too forward. Can we make up for our error? Oh hey, she's admiring him. Hey, maybe we don't have to leave the lot after all. Maybe he's gonna make his very first friend here. That would be that would be a relief. Really, Caleb, I know you're lonely. I know you're flirty. But jumping straight to talking about kissing with everybody. Oh. And he's got maxed out nice points too. I just don't understand how people can be so rough on him. Poor little Caleb. Hmm. Uh-oh. They disagree about environmental issues. Uh, uh, try again. We can't give up. You have no friends. Hopefully they click. Meanwhile, Pip is just like wandering around. Go look at things, Pip. Maybe you want to move in. These are fine apartments. Diatom apartments. Not the cheapest, but highly recommended. Quite proud of the way they look, too. Nice, nice. That's right, you just admire the little garden that's down there. It's a very nice little garden. Alright, they're talking money. Oh, look at that! Now that they've found some common things to talk about, they actually seem to be getting along pretty well. Hmm. Look how excited he is. Look at the smiling. Look at the giggles. Oh. There might be hope for you yet, Caleb. How happy. Also, I love that. I just, if, in case you guys were wondering, like, what the heck this is, this is the, the Skip Hop Airport. And Caleb lives right next to it. Hopefully it's not too noisy. It just uses little commuter planes to help people transport faster between uh, the mainland and the little Odessa Island. That's, that's a teensy little island. There's ferries too, but you know, you want sometimes you gotta move fast. And there's one of the buses at the little bus stop to drop people off there. There's a bigger part of the airport, kind of the more, like this is just the warehouses and the loading space. And over there's the ferry dock terminal. Nothing, 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 because we're still working on it. There's Heart Clinic, which I need to uh, revamp. That'll probably be in a behind the scenes pretty soon because we have to get a doctor in for that zombie baby. And there's Polar Park, um, or let's see, which one's that? That one's Polar Pool Park. That one's Polar Push Park. There's the, that is the school, the library. That's, this right here is um, Garrett's house. And we gotta visit Garrett. He actually wants to open up some restaurants pretty soon. Nice fancy pants restaurant. Mango Mines Daycare. This is the little piano lesson coffee shop um, studio place that we have over here. Chess hall, the big chess hall right over there. And then a whole bunch of the houses where other people live. And Sprouted. He lives right next to Sprouted. So Caleb probably will be going there quite a bit to get food. But for now, it looks like without ever having to leave the comforts of his apartment, which is kind of nice because maybe the dude just wants to spend some time in his new home. It looks like Caleb has finally made a new friend. Hopefully. This poor guy. Edwa! Oh, oh, oh! She's talking kissing. You do have those adorable little cute lips, Caleb. Yes, look how excited he is. He's like, yes, kissing! Okay, you wanna flirt? Now let's try charming her. He's like, oh, yes! Did you see that? Oh, see? A girl likes it more when you actually introduce yourself first. Oh, look at the cutie pies. Look at them. And Song, what a beautiful name, too. <gasps> and she's got, she's got alien eyes. Oh, mystery of mysteries. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. This is another instance of my downloads that I have being defaulted without my being aware of them. And so she's not supposed to, the alien eyes, just like the zombie skin. It's not supposed to be pulled from when my townies are being generated, but apparently it was. So Song, you just got a whole new level of like complexity, especially considering Caleb freaking loves aliens, and his best friend Ruby is supposedly, he thinks, abducted by them. Oh goodness. Things just got more interesting. This game, I swear, it always is throwing stuff at me. Alright, alright. Let's ask her what she wants. Let's figure out... Talk. Well, that's general. That doesn't tell us what she might actually... What's this? Network? Oh, hey, sweet. Okay, what did we get? Did we get anything? 
Uh, you're simply the coolest sim I've met in ages. I'm going to spread the word to everyone I know. Caleb, your reputation is on its way up. Why, thank you, Song. Well, I think that these two are definitely getting along well then. All right, let's, let's ask her what she fears. She fears fire. Those are both so general. Oh, Caleb, do we never assign? I know it might help with voltage or hurt it. We never assigned his secondary. We know Caleb is a knowledge sim. And you know what? I'm thinking he's a family sim too. I will admit I can be a little bit biased towards the family sims. I adore them. But I'm really feeling Caleb is a family sim. So we're going to go ahead. That might have altered the voltage that he feels for her. Nope, looks like it's still going strong. Okay, good. Oh, what's that? Oh, he just wants to learn, <laughs> like, level 3 logic. Caleb, that's not going to help you. Let's ask her again. What do you want? She wants to get fit. Are you a romance sim? Because I think that's a romance sim want. You know what? Let's just, let's just go all in on it. Ask on date. Oh, look at that. Our boy wastes no time. Do we still have Pip wandering around here? Poor Pip. He probably has no clue what's going on. And look how cute she is. Look at them almost hold hands, but not quite, because animation can be so derpy in Sims sometimes. And, and, got it. Yep, they're just cute. Gotta keep records. Uh-huh. It worked! Oh, she's a knowledge sim, just like him! Oh, this might work after all. Impart knowledge. Uh, sure, interests. What are some of your guys' interests? Share them. I think that Caleb is actually going to make his friend. And he, he's going to have a good date. This is fantastic. Look how happy he is <laughs> about everything. Oh. This dude, he is just too cool. And Song, we got to find out more about you. So we know that she is a knowledge sim. Because she's a romantic interest, I kind of, I don't want to peek. I mean, do I want to peek? I think I want to peek. I don't know if I want to peek. Do I really want to peek? Hmm, that might let us know more about her. Or we could wait until she moves in. Ah, okay. Because I normally peek, I'm going to go ahead. Oops, that is definitely not. This is a cheat. Bull Bullprop testing cheat is enabled true that you can use to right click or like to press shift and then click on the sim. Make selectable. She is indeed. Oh my goodness, she has a relationship with Willy Lie. As a friend, but double bolts. That is interesting. Um, she is a knowledge sim. Wants to be a professional party guest, which is probably glitched. So she's going to be a victim of one of my still in the testing process and testing phases. The lifetime want, uh, the new lifetime want list that I am attempting to make. Uh, I talk about it in the first and second Laudesia behind the scenes. If you're curious, still working on it. Still working on it. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's see, what else? She's turned on by fit, unemployed men, and turned off by blonde hair. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, well, Caleb is going to be employed, and he does have blonde hair, but they still have double bolts, so that's pretty cool. She's very nice, very active, somewhat playful, a little bit shy, somewhat serious. Let's see, what is she? She's good at tinkering, environment, entertainment, crime, money, food, paranormal. Let's see, not sci-fi, but... So yeah, she's, she's got some interesting things going on here for her. Oh, first date with Caleb. That's really cute. Oh, and she's a rookie uh, in the athletic career, which makes no sense. She also has a silver register badge and a, fish, a bronze fishing badge. Okay, so we learned quite a bit more about Song here. And due to her alien eyes, there's definitely more than what meets, like... The appearance, and you know what? I can justify peeking on Sims like that by the fact that this is Ladesia. The moment anybody sets foot on this island, pretty much everything about them, down to the most minute details, are recorded somewhere in the spy database. So I just, I, I'm just gonna say I looked her up in the spy database. But the trick about that is, sometimes the information you receive might be wrong. So she might, she might surprise us. Are you gonna surprise us, Shut the Sky? Is that what you're gonna do? Let's see, entertain, tickle, tell dirty joke. Entertain, joke. 
they're really flirty with each other. They seem to really appreciate one another. We'll have to see how this date goes. I swear she's got- I mean, look at her! Even the pointy-ish face. This woman has alien origins. I think Caleb doesn't suspect that, but he probably is attracted to her. <gasps> His first friend! And he's got more fame. People know you're a good sim. Who the heck is that? Oh, Wind Blossom. That's a pretty cool name. Alright, play, tell dirty joke, dance. <laughs> Pip is like happy to have someone to talk to. Whoa! Um, are you guys sure? That's kind of like... ACR, I think you're being a little bit strong. I, I don't, I don't know. Is she like trying to lure Caleb into a relationship this early? I don't know about that. We're, we're gonna slow things down a little bit because that is just the mod known as Autonomous Casual Romance. That is kind of speeding stuff up. Are you gonna, are you gonna, yep, you're gonna do that. Um, we're gonna call you back down, ma'am. Because Caleb, Caleb likes to take things a little bit slower than that. <laughs> oh, I at least want him to have the want in his wants panel. If that happened when he had the wants in his wants panel, then I'd feel a little bit differently. I don't know. I'll think about how I'm going to handle that in the future, too. See, he wants to slow dance. He wants to play. Play. Tickle. She wants to be tickled. Are you guys, you guys are pretty serious, so I'm surprised you want to tickle and be tickled. Nerdies. Flirty, flirty things. I wonder why she wants to get fit so bad. She's a knowledge sim. That's not usually something you see for knowledge sims. Maybe fitness is just one of her things. Oh, okay. Can we slow dance? And do, do, do. don't want to end the date. I'm trying to remember where it is. Ask. Let's see. How much money do you have? Always an interesting question. It's not like he's digging. She's very poor. That's because she's secretly an alien trying to infiltrate the Ladesia zone sideways. Let's see. Dance. Classic. Slow dance. That's what we want, right? Yep. Oh no! Rejected! But you want to! Oh no! Um. Alright, let's just leave him alone for a second. I'm sorry, Caleb. Look, 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 she's all over you. We'll just let them, let them kind of work this out. Oh, he's so cute! He's just so cute! Oh, he has a crush already! Oh, Caleb! That's adorable! <sighs> really, guys? Cool, my jets! Just for a second, would ya? Please? Goodness gracious, and I mean, you're trying to do this with company? At least say goodbye to Pip, sir. Nice to meet you, sorry we're on a date. Come on. I, I think she's trying to like start a relationship so that she can infiltrate. You can give her a nice back rub. How about that? Yeah, I know. She, You, you just can hardly resist, can you, Caleb? I think she's trying to infiltrate Ladesia and do so through little Caleb's tender emotions. Start up a relationship with him because think about it, he is one of the first and only scientists here on the island to directly be working with the observatory. So maybe she is highly interested in what the humans are up to with the observatory, huh? So hmm, even though uh, in Ladesia secretly the Eureka family has been in contact with aliens for quite some time. There are several different races of aliens out there, so they're not always part of the same group. Hmm. Alright, song. What are we gonna do with you? Can we can we dance with you yet, please? No. Alright, alright. She's being picky. Do we have to I think we're gonna have to let's buy a little stereo. If the lady wants to dance, we're going to dance. Let's see. That one?
of a pregnancy. He still has his concerned face. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, and there they are. Yep, I think that, that she's like, crap, because she actually likes them. Well, I think that's probably going to be all of their date for now, because other than being friends and whatnot, they're not really rolling any fresh new wants. Oh, now he wants to make out. Well, <laughs> all right, we're going to leave Caleb getting his very first make out, uh, and we'll come back and just see how things go. So, we have a new alien infiltrator here in Ladesia. I swear things just, they're constantly going, constantly keeping us interested. There was also a witch, so it just seems like Caleb is attracting, with his 10 nice points, he is just attracting the kind of people who might want to use him. So we'll have to keep an eye on him. Alright guys, thank you so much for joining us. This has definitely been another crazy adventure here in Ladesia, and who knows what we're going to get up to next time. I will see you then. And until then, stay curious!